national security council meeting what do you want nigerians to know about it well the president uh, received briefs from all the heads of uh, armed forces of nigeria other security agencies and intelligence organization uh, on the security situation nationwide while appreciative of the successes and gains being made by all the security agencies from the armed forces of nigeria to police and intelligence uh, organizations as well as other security agencies is of the belief that more must still and should still be done but he commended all of them for the progress we are recording on all fronts the president was particularly happy with the fact that a free and fair election was made possible by the INEC and our security agencies. And that that is a good uh, assurance to all Nigerians that we are committed to promoting democracy. You mean in respect of a number of elections? Uh, yeah. The president was particularly happy that a free and fair election, a natural election, took place in, 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 in Anambra. And he was, he was quite happy that the combination of the organization, uh, represent, I mean, com sorry, the, the combination of INEC and the, and the security agencies, from the military to the police and all the other agencies, made that possible with the support of the people of Anambra and the government of Anambra. And that we all saw the outcome. With that, there is no doubt as to the commitment of our administration to promoting democracy and ensuring that 2023 is not in any way threatened. And the council was briefed about the election today of a Nigerian, AIG Garba Umar, yes, who emerged out of about four other candidates as the vice president of Interpol for Africa, which means that a Nigerian today represents the 54 African nations at the Interpol level. The election took place today, a couple of hours ago, and he emerged as the vice president of Interpol in Africa, representing the 54 African nations. That too was discussed and uh, appreciated and applauded. Well, that's essentially, and that, and that, and that, the armed forces of Nigeria, other security agencies, intelligence organizations, must not rest on their oars. As we are making progress in our effort to eliminate insurgency, banditry, kidnapping for ransom, and all the other criminalities, that we are not yet where we should be. The Nigerians deserve to live in peace and that until we achieve that, we will not rest. Nigerians want to know specifically what you have discussed in respect of the resurgence of criminal activities along Abuja Kaduna Highway. Oh, yes. Uh, the police and the other security agencies have been mobilized to intensify surveillance, patrol, and pursuit of the criminals. And it's not only about Abuja Kaduna. Yes, Abuja Kaduna belt was uh, discussed specifically, but uh, we appreciated the fact that we are in the season of festivity. So all agencies uh, are committed to providing security for Nigeria and the maintenance of law and order have been ordered to improve on the activities, intensify surveillance and minimize, if not eliminate totally, any threat to law and order anywhere in Nigeria. Said is the lead agency on internal security. So whatever I've said about maintenance of law and order will start with the police and then extend to all the other uh, security agencies, so certainly. Sokoto is also uh, creating another uh, attention now. People are, bandits are collecting ransom, bandits are now have taken over some areas 
you know, collect administrative, administrative those areas. What are you, uh, is that discuss that also? Specific orders have been given to all our security agencies. And you will see an improved response to all those challenging the sovereignty of Nigeria in whatever form and uh, creating insecurity in whatever form anywhere. The, main, the, 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 the council today took firm decision on what to be done and I can assure Nigerians that with, with the charge from the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces today, there will be an improved response to all forms of criminality in any part of Nigeria. Is there a new strategy to that effect? Because this charge has been given one, not once, not twice, not even twice, sir. Well, I, what I know is that for as long as there is life, we must, we must not rest until our objective of making Nigeria safe for Nigerians is, 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 is made possible. So I, I am convinced that the renewed charge to our security agencies, from the military to the police, intelligence organizations, and all other security forces, certainly Nigerians will feel and live better going forward. Thank you. Thank you.